Are you nervous? Yes. You are? Yes. Should okay. she be nervous? No. Raven Elise TV. Hey guys, what's up? It's Raven. Welcome back to another vlog. It is 8, 10 a.m. And I am about to drop Zaya off at preschool. She's got her smoothie in her cup. But I wanted to quickly check in in front of my vanity lights so you could get a good look at my face because after I drop Zaya off at school today, I am meeting up with my mom. And my mom and I are going to the Medi Spa to get filler today. We're actually doing two different things. Well, a total of three different things because I'm getting filler, she's getting a different type of filler today, and then we're coming back next week to get microblading done to our eyebrows. I already have it done, but I need a touch up in my eyebrows, and my mom has never had it done, and she wants to get her eyebrows done. So we have to do that on a separate appointment, on a separate video, so stay tuned for that. And I actually have had this done one time before, but it was like a year ago, and filler does not last forever, and you need to get it touched up. So what I had done before, and what I'm planning to get done again today, is filler in my top lip, just right here in the middle section of my top lip, to make my top lip bigger and kind of match the size of my bottom lip and just make it look more juicy. I'm not going for full out Kylie Jenner lips. I'm not going for anything crazy. You guys have to keep in mind that with any cosmetic procedure, there are levels to it. You don't have to go all the way. You can go for a small amount for a natural result. When I do my makeup and I put my lip liner and my lipstick on, I'm always like overlining my top lip just a little bit, just to give me that more rounded shape and that fuller look. So that is why I'm getting filler to just have it look like that instead of having to overline my lips all the time and then I also get filler in my smile lines I have very deep creases right here they're not as deep because I did get this done before but they're starting to show up again now so these creases right here I don't like those I don't like that shadow that that I don't know I don't like that effect that it gives my face right here so I get those filled in so it flattens out and smooths out and also to help that flatten out Zaya's <laughs> oh Zaya's like I'm ready for school okay I'm getting myself dressed so yeah I get it filled in right here just to fill out those creases but also um last time she added some filler right here in my cheeks to help like lift that up as well so I don't know we might do some in the cheeks I'm not sure if I need that again today like again I'm not trying to make anything look that much different from how it looks it's just like flattening this out and lifting this lip up a little bit is what basically I'm trying to achieve it honestly doesn't look nearly as bad like I feel like I definitely still have some filler in my face or maybe I actually gained some weight or something because when I first got this filler done um it was when I had really lost a lot of weight and I just felt like my face was looking weird and skeletal and just had no volume to it it was looking like so like these creases were so deep right here and it just looked like I had no life to my face so when I got the filler done the first time I was really happy with the result this time I'm not feeling like I need it as bad but I still want it so maybe I'll just have to get less but yeah let's go because I'm about to be running late good morning, good morning. Hey. Good. Good. Are you nervous? Yes. You are? Yes. Okay. Should she be nervous? No. I'm gonna get, um, I call it under eye, but they call it tear, tear trough. Tear trough. Mm -hmm. And um, see where else she thinks she has filler that she can stick in. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so so <laughs> mainly the tear, how do you say troughs? Tear, tear troughs. Tear, tear troughs. Mm -hmm. And then under, you under told eye. me that I had under eyes. <laughs> My eyes dark, Don't blame it on me. It was under, was sunk it in, and that only thing that would fix it were fillers. You tell me that. No, I said, you said that you didn't like the way your eyes were looking. Which, this is, I mean, it's exactly what we're going to do is put filler here. So, this is, I always tell people it's not a, it's not an age thing, it's a genetic thing. Mm -hmm. It's the way your orbital bones sit and have mm -hmm. a deep set eyes. And then there's just a common area where we continue to lose fat. So, we go and we put filler there, and, and we bring 
where you have healthy fat, no fat, and then healthy fat, we just bring it up to surface so it's all one transition. Your ears wraps around this way, and then mm -hmm. this one kind of wraps, but we're a little bit here in the cheek as well. Um, so you're kind of a combination of things. On this side, you're a little bit more, and I'm gonna angle you this way so you can actually see it. Mm -hmm. So here is your tear trough, the bone. And then see how it kind of falls right here? Mm -hmm. Well, this is now the cheek segment. Mm. Um, so you're lacking, <laughs> even though you got amazing cheeks, mm -hmm. we are starting to shallow mm -hmm. out a little bit below that mm -hmm. rim. So this side's gonna need a little bit of help underneath the rim as well. Mm -hmm. This side, not so much, although it can, if you look on the lateral part here. Mm -hmm. um, if you want me to do like an assessment where I think you'll get optimal, mm -hmm. Rejuvenation, yes, tear troughs is a is a big one. It'll take a lot of that darkness away. But what causes a lot of you know mm -hmm. some of the heavy nasolabial folds, and then ultimately you know down here around the mouth and here. Not that you have this, you're actually really good. Uh, you're just starting to decline a little bit in this cheek segment. Mm -hmm. And if we build that, it will lift a whole lot of what this and even the below segment. And I typically like to use, there's different products we um, we have for it. I do like to have something that's gonna not pull a whole lot of water to the mm -hmm. eyes because the eyes do pull water, oh, they like to pull water anyways. Mm -hmm. um, so for you, I probably wanna do Wrestle and Refine mm -hmm. under here. Um, for the cheek though, um, I'd probably wanna build that up with a little bit of a Luma. Mm -hmm. um, and you'll probably look, we just want to, and it's up to you what you wanna do. If you just wanna correct this segment here, mm -hmm. And this here, I can probably keep you in just one syringe of Voluma. Mm -hmm. If we're really wanting to dress some of the bottom just to kind of get a little bit more taut mm -hmm. and lifted, you're probably looking at least a minimum of one and one Voluma. So that's two Volumas. Mm -hmm. um, the tear troughs will probably take maybe one to one and a half maybe syringes okay. to do. So you're looking at two and a half for everything. For possibly everything, yeah. You've had stuff like this done before, so. You, you know how it feels. Yeah. Um, it's well, you never hard. had your eyes done. No. Everybody's well, yeah. nervous about the eyes because it's so close to the eye, but it's really not. I'm going to be well below. Okay. Yeah. Well, my doctor doesn't done for Botox. She just goes for it. Botox, I don't, no one typically does. I do have a few clients that <laughs> request like, it. Hey. But no, because it's such a quick prick. This is deeper. Oh, and you're like, going. no. <laughs> yeah, she says the Botox hurts really bad, but I don't it know. It shouldn't hurt that bad. If it's hurting that bad, when people like, oh, say that, I have clients that are like, I don't even feel you do it at all. And, and I'm like, it, it shouldn't hurt. Hey guys, sorry to interrupt, but if you like what you see so far, why don't you consider subscribing to my channel? It's free and it's fun. You can join the squad and you won't miss out on any of my future uploads. Oh, stress, it's stress it's fall. Stressful. It's a stress reliever. It just gives you something to kind of focus on. And just remember to breathe, okay? Slow deep breaths. Okay, relax the face for just a moment. Okay. Mm -hmm. You did okay? Well, how was that? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you did good. All right. Now, is it worse than Botox? <laughs> yes. It's different. <laughs> it's different. It should be. It should. Botox is shallow. This is. Deep. This is deep, right? That's what I'm saying. This should be. This should be worse than than Botox. But I feel like you're tolerating it really good. Right where it used to be. Mm -hmm. I want you to stay just like that and look at it from afar. Look how this whole side wow. is lifted. And that was only just really addressing that part. Mm hmm. Feel heavier over here. Yep. Isn't that crazy? Mm hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Looks very natural. Mm -hmm. That's what I say. Your husband won't know unless you get a bruise and you're like, oh, what happened there? But other than that, if you were to say, I got all these injections, he's gonna be like, I don't understand where you get it. Even when I do your tear trough, he still won't be able to because you're not gonna, unless there's a bruise or something there. Yeah. But no, it's gonna look natural and you're just gonna look refreshed. Wow. So I always tell people so a, a great part of 
your darkness is because you don't have volume here. You've got good fat, no fat, good fat. So it's actually a step off. So once I bring this up, you're gonna see a lot of that darkness and the step off is gone. However, if your skin, which you have some darkened skin mm -hmm. under here, that's always gonna be there too, mm -hmm. okay? Or if you had melasma or discoloration, mm -hmm. that'll always be there. So I always have to tell people just for realistic expectations, mm -hmm. but you should get at least, you know, 80, 90% improvement mm -hmm. of darkness here. You close your eyes. and burning. How are we doing? Mm -hmm. All right. Okay. Then I want you to take a body breath, and then I want you to open your eyes. I want you to look at the light. And just fixate your eyes there. Okay. There Actually did really good. If that was bad, you did not make it seem like it was. <laughs> <laughs> it just feels like the pressure and cramping. It's and like, oh, you're supposed to go right into my eyeball. And it's so far. I know that's what it Yeah, it's way down, down here. It's way down there. See, was, the needle was literally like right here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but you, you said it wasn't painful, right? It just felt uh -huh. weird. Well, there's so many nerves on this bone, I bet you she feels it in places that it's not. Yeah, I felt it like right mm -hmm. here. <laughs> um, Look at the um, yeah. So this is just one syringe divided between both sides? This is actually one and a half. One and a half? Mm -hmm. Yeah, you really don't notice that anything was, you just look more awake, refreshed, mm -hmm. smoothed out. It doesn't look like, oh, you yeah. did something to your face. Mm -hmm. Look at that. That looks good. <laughs> <laughs> Let me get some of this. Let me get some of the blood off of her back. You're doing after? Oh, now you can see you have little beauty marks right here that I didn't notice yeah. before. <laughs> okay, okay I'm getting turned, like, do a little pose for the camera. Okay, so it's immediately after your injections. How do you feel? What do you think? I feel like I'm 45 again. Well, are you going to tell people how old you really are? Yes. How old are you? I'm 58. Getting ready to be 59. And you but feel I like you're 45. <laughs> <laughs> Which I guess is good. <laughs> That's good With context. Years. So, yeah. Uh, <laughs> Wait, hold on. Please look at the way she's sitting on here again. <laughs> Always with this pose. Just this is water, this is, not wine this time. This is what this is where I'm comfortable. That's your comfortable pose? That's my comfortable pose. I'm not trying to be sexy. <laughs> oh, but now you feel sexy because you got feel your just, face rejuvenated. I feel like I look younger. You do. And I don't feel like I look tired. People were, you know, always say, Oh, you look so Oh, you must be tired. Oh gosh, you must be exhausted or whatever. And it was painful. I On mean, a scale you know, of one to 10, how painful there was, was there's it? There's no scale. There's no scale of pain. It just was like, you know, a couple of times when you feel a needle puncturing through your face, it's a little unnerving. I mean, and then it's only like for a second that you feel a stick. I mean, you know, you know what it feels like to get a shot. People are probably scared about the eyes. Did the eyes hurt worse than the cheeks? No. It was about the same? It was about the same. So would you do it again? Or are you going to come back in a I year to get it redone? This is going to be my annual Mother's Day present. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> so you're just going to finesse it out of me. <laughs> Somebody. Somebody can give it to me. But yeah, she said basically everything you got done is going to last you about a year, year that's, and a half. That's good. Because I don't want to be wanting to come back every six months. <laughs> this. But, you know, a year, year and a half. When was the last time you had your lips done? Okay. When was that? I have no idea. A little over a year ago. 
Like a year ago? That's last time? It's been a while, yeah. Have you only had done once? Yeah, that was the first time. First time, okay. And it was just a top lip that time. And how much fuller, let me get the mirror, how much fuller do you want to be? Um, so I kind of wanted to show you on like a photo of myself with makeup on and how mm -hmm. I like overline them. Okay. I like more of a rounded look where the, not wide, you know what okay. I mean? Is your Instagram your name? It's Gina, um, at Body Tonic, I don't even know. Gina Body Tonic? Oh, yes. And then also, I'm gonna work above your head. I'm gonna take this from you. And do me a favor, let's back your butt up all the way to sit up straight. And I'm gonna lay you flat, okay? Different, probably last time. <laughs> <laughs> it looks good. I like it. It's really pretty. So as you can tell, when you put your lips together, see how this kind of looks more smaller and sucking mm -hmm. in? But we gotta pull that out so it balances. it. I'm numb, but <laughs> <laughs> gorgeous. It looks good. I like it. What you think? It looks They're good. pretty. They look very pouty. I love them. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so we're leaving now. I look crazy, I feel crazy because my lips are numb, I'm swollen, I've got redness and some bruising popping up, so don't mind. This is not the finished product, but how do you feel? You feel I good? Look good? She I really loves you. her results. I like mine too, don't get it twisted, but she loves hers. So I think it was money well spent for her Mother's Day. Thank you. A present. I appreciate it. <laughs> Um, and yeah, you won't have to come back for like another year, year and a half, so. Okay guys, so it's a little bit later in the day now. We finished up with our appointments and then we went to go pick Zaya up. We went to have lunch and now we're home, so it's been some time. As you can see, my lips are starting to develop some bruises on the top lip. And you can see that little injection spot right there on the bottom lip and it's starting to swell up a little bit because I can tell my top lip is already bigger from what it was in the office. So of course this is not my final result finished product because it has to heal. You have to let the bruises go away and let the swelling go down and let everything settle in over the course of about a few days to a week, like definitely a week from now, it'll be totally like done. But yeah, this is just kind of like first day, bruise, swollen, all that stuff. So definitely if you wanna see the true final result, you guys will just have to stay tuned to my future vlogs and my future videos and see how it really settles in and see how it looks with makeup and all that stuff. So don't take this as the final result, but just stay tuned to my future videos. I wanted to quickly mention, I don't think um, I got it on camera when she was actually explaining it to me in the office, but I ended up not getting anything else done to my cheeks or my smile lines or anything. I just got my lips done. Originally, I was going to get something done for my smile lines, but she helped me confirm that my smile lines really aren't bad. Like the actual like lines themselves. The reason why you see a line right there or like a shadow 
is actually my skin color. So even if you stretch it out, you still see that darkness there. It's not a shadow. It's my skin color because I have melasma, which I never knew what that word meant or never knew that that's what it's called, but she told me that I have melasma, which is just a discoloration that comes up in like very specific patches. So you can see on both sides of my mouth, I have those little joop, joop, like little mustache patches of dark colored skin, which has nothing to do with like acne or anything like that. It's a totally different thing. And it's called melasma and sun exposure makes it worse and body temperature makes it worse. So even if I'm outside in the heat, but I'm in the shade, just the fact that I'm outside and I'm hot can make this darker, which I didn't know, would have never known that. Um, so first things first is sun protection to help it from getting darker. So um, I got this really nice um, sunscreen face stuff. This is SPF 46 and it's for acne prone skin. It actually has zinc in it, which she told me was important. And yeah, she just told me that this was like the best of the best stuff for sun protection for your face. So I bought that there. And she also gave me this, which is, I can't pronounce this, hydroquinone, hydroquinone. I'll put, put it on the screen so you guys can see how it's spelled, which I have actually used products before that had that in it. And it's supposed to be basically a skin lightener. So if you need to lighten up any type of hyperpigmentation or darkness on your face. Um, so I have had products like this before, not to this strength, cause this is 8%. And I think I've only had like 2% or something in other products, but I have used that before to try to lighten up spots on my face. To be honest, I don't know if it really worked or not, but this is supposed to work a lot better cause it is 8%. Me and my mom are both very happy with our results. We both really like that place. If you're in Austin and you want to go to a really nice place, if you need recommendations, I'll put the name and everything down below for you guys. Um, but yeah, I mean, that's pretty much it for this video. For the comment of the day, I want to know if in some sort of fantasy land, somebody told you that you could get a cosmetic procedure done for the free and it was going to be done by the best of the best doctor in that specialty. So you got the best doctor and it's going to be free. Would you get anything done and what would you get done in that fantasy world? I know some people just wouldn't get anything done. They don't want anything and that's fine. You can comment that down below. But if there's something you've always wanted done, comment that down below. And yeah, give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. I still feel like I can't fully talk because my mouth is still kind of numb and swollen and bruised and stuff. But yeah, give this video a thumbs up if you found it interesting or if you enjoyed it. Make sure to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and to stay tuned for future videos so you can see the final results. And yeah, I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.